Hey guys, welcome back to uh, the final part of the alternative solve, alternative method. I don't know why I keep screwing that up, but oh well. To the 6x6. Six six. Now, when we left last left off, we did our first, well, three layers now. So we completed half the puzzle. And this video we will do, well, we'll I will try to uh, finish it. So, with this one, we will... So, what you want to do is you want to look, try and get as many yellows as you can. Which, right now, you know, here's your cross. One yellow, one yellow, and then yellow and yellow. So, we got our cross done. We don't have to worry about that. Now, we got to do our um, OLL. So, we want to make sure our corners are oriented properly before going on to the next step. So right now, as I covered this in my 5x5 solve, I think it's part three, the soon, that's, oh no, we have the anti-soon. So if you go back and see, if you watch that, you want to see what the anti-soon looks like. Anti-fish, you know, here's your head. Right here, here's your head. See, and then your tail, which are these two and these two. So head, right here, tail, there's nothing there, nothing there, and nothing there. So your head's facing that way. You have a yellow facing you right on this side. So now you want to do the opposite of the move that I did in the 5x5 video. And look, now you have all four corners upright. So now you want to make sure that your colors on the side match up. So... Here's your two colors. You want to make that to the left of the color, so it should be blue. And do the same algorithm. And now we should have all our corners matched up with the centers. So now this part is where... If you've seen the 4x4, is where I match up all, make sure all the yellows are in the proper place. So on the 4x4, it's easy to do. Because you only have to worry about two edges, really. On the 6x6, you have to worry about four edges. And eventually, I will get to the 8x8. That's not in this video, though. Besides, it's halfway across the room, and I don't feel like getting up. Lazy! Anyways, and look, it's the 5x5. Five five. Anyways, what I will be doing, let's see. So now we want to make sure that we, what I do is I work on the center, inner center edges. So these two right here, these two, all the way around, make sure that they're lined up correctly with the colors of the corners. And then I work on the outer edges all the way around. And once I do that, then I could do the special algorithm that I used for the edges, the last four edges on the 5x5, five five, to pretty much finish this puzzle. So let's get on with the puzzle. Enough of me recapping what happened in the last video. So you want to do this move right here, which... Eventually, I'm going to look up where I learned this from. I, I, I forgot the, the YouTuber's name, but he doesn't really do Rubik's Cubes anymore. He's more about, um, just, I don't even, I, I don't even know what he does anymore. Anyways, I'll, you know, if you want to learn how to do it, this method, I'll s post a link in the description, in the video you know, in the video description below, and you can learn how to solve it. I think he does does a four by four solve. So, anyways, so I'm gonna be working on this soon. This I just got to figure. Close. Uh, yeah, so while I figure something out real quick, why don't you listen to a drum roll? Thank you. 
And a fart. Alright. I probably could have paused the video, but oh well. I hope you guys enjoyed that little uh, sound machine area. You know, the little sound machine part. So now we're going to work on this two blue and yellow QB edge. There we go. We just go back to what we did. As you can see, blue and yellow right there, right where it belongs. Magical, isn't it? So, um, ah. Oh, this is the catastrophe I was warning people about. The inner piece of it. So we just pull this out. I gotta look at the, uh, ugh, see if I can find it. Curse this puzzle. Oh, this is good. I don't even know where it went. Oh, wait, I see it. Ha <laughs> ha! Found it. So, you know what? More other people might cut this out, but I'm going to leave this in. Oh, it messed up. Okay, come on. Great. This video is going to be really long. This might be a four parter. This. Just. Really? Okay, come on. Hold on, I'll be right back. Sorry about that. <sighs> Took me a while to get it back in there. Okay, what is going on with this table? Oh, excuse me. Alright, so now we got that. Ugh. I don't even remember what I was doing. Okay. So, we wanted... Oh, the orange. Okay. Oh, that was frustrating. Took me a good minute to get that back in there. So, now, this might be a four-parter, as I have said. Alright, hold on. Just gotta adjust it. So I can bring this back in. There we go. Much better. Okay. So... Uh, this one is not in. I gotta get the... I gotta get... Ugh. I gotta get the 6x6 six six pillow... V-Cube 6 pillowed version, you know. This thing is just not cutting it for me right now. Alright, so we want... Let's see, like... Center's misaligned. Okay. Now I'm going to try and save these two the way they are by doing that. So that way I can get the green, knock out those, and um, where's the red? There it is. Yeah, this looks like it'll be a four-parter. Cause I still gotta get, I still gotta go through the other method. And I think that, yep, okay. So now, as you can see, I'll realign it. All of the center edges are complete. So, just one. Sorry about that. Just had to do a little adjustment. Got my water. Anyways. Um, so now we got to work on the outer edges. So, yeah, this will definitely have to continue. I'm going to try and get at least the yellow the top layer done. So right now I'm just kind of going through to speed through this. So I don't want them to be any longer than what they have to be. Okay, aha. And there we go. We got, I think, one more. So to show you a bit of a recap, there we go. And that is the last layer. So in the next part... I will finish off 
the edges here, you know, do my al magical algorithm that will fix those. And then I will start in on the traditional method for the 6x6. Six six. So, hope you enjoyed. Sorry about the, the difficulties that I've been having. I don't know why I just said that. Whatever. Hey, it's what you get. Look at my shadow. Oh, no. Hey, whatever. Yeah, look, uh, there's my finger. Anyways, if you enjoyed, please leave a like. Please comment. Subscribe. Please. I cannot stress that enough. Subscribe. You know, I do. You know, every Sunday and Wednesday, I will release a video for Larry's Corner. It could be more Rubik's Cubes. Eventually, I will do video game stuff. You know, even, you know, the lovely, lovely. I might even do a little bit of a. Uh, oh, wrong thing. Yeah. I might even do a bit of movie reviews. As you can see, I have plenty. So, I'll just go over my movies that I have. So, anyways, this is Larry from Incoherent Ramblings. Check out Incoherent Ramblings if you like podcasts. Please check out my 3x3, 2x2, 4x4, and 5x5 solve. If you enjoy that stuff, you know, like, comment, subscribe. I cannot stress that enough. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Love ya.